the church of God. What does church of God mean? Most people in the world view the term as a denomination, such as the Baptist church, Presbyterian church, Methodist church. In fact, the church of God is a denomination of people who call themselves Pentecostal Christians. But really the phrase church of God has a much deeper, more spiritual meaning that's not connected to any denomination. In God's Word we learn that the church is not a building made up of stones, a brick, or mortar. Instead we learn that the word church refers to a group of people following Christ and obeying His will. You see, written in the Holy Scriptures is Jesus' explanation to Peter and the other apostles that He would build His church on the fact that Jesus is God's Son. He clearly said death would not be able to stop the building of His church. How would He build a church without using stones and mortar? Peter explains to us that the church of Jesus Christ is made up of people. He said that followers of Christ are living stones. They're used to construct the house of God. Nothing can destroy the church of Christ because those who belong to it will live forever with Jesus Christ in heaven. Now notice that Jesus said He would build one church. You see, we get a clearer picture of this idea from another place in God's Word. God said that Jesus is the head over the body, which is the church. God's Word also tells us there is one body, one church. Jesus didn't build many churches. He built only one. And that one church went by many names. It was simply called the church. It was called the church of Christ. It was called the way, and it was also called the house of God or the church of God. You see, that makes perfect sense because Jesus is God. If Jesus bought the church with His blood, then that means God bought the church with His blood. In God's Word, we read about the church of God which He purchased with His own blood. See, the Holy Scriptures tell us that only God can add a person to the body, to His church. His Word tells us that the Apostle Peter preached the first gospel sermon. And in that sermon, Peter told the people in Jerusalem that they had killed Jesus, the Son of God. Oh, they were sorry for this. And they said, what do we need to do? And Peter said, you need to repent and be baptized for the forgiveness of your sins. And that day, 3,000 people followed Peter's instructions. They were baptized into Christ. And God's Word goes on to explain that the Lord Himself added those who were being saved to the church. How many churches? The church. One. Only the Lord can add a person to His body, to the church. And He does this when a person is obedient to Him. The reason that only the Lord can add a person to the church is because He owns it. He bought it with His blood. So we see the church is made up of all the people who are followers of Jesus Christ and who have been added by God. The true church of God, it's not a denomination. It has no earthly headquarters. It doesn't have a creed book written by man. Jesus is its head, and the church belongs to God, and the church follows His Word. That is truly the church of God.